Here's a video of why I like the Tesla Model X 2020 Ludicrous Edition. Really cool info entertainment center right here. Self driving, drives me everywhere. Great visualizations here. Shows you how much power you've used. Where are you going? It'll even show street lights up the top and the signs and cars. There's one in front of me, it shows you there. Gives you the direction on this side and it's all changeable. You can change it. I really love the windshield. It goes all the way back. You can see planes fly over. That's cool. It's got lighting in the doors here, here, and here. Very cool carbon fiber. Even though it's got this cool windshield, it also has some cool upper glass right here so your passengers can see the sky. It's got these really cool sun visors. They flip down. And then they also flip down again. Have the lighting in there. That's kind of cool. At night, you can flip them up like this. And then turn it up like this. It gives a pretty cool effect. Visibility is pretty good all around. The mirrors auto fold in. These doors behind me flip all the way up in the air. The wing doors, Falcon doors, what they call them. Sort of like Back to the Future. There are some Easter eggs to it as well. When you get to 122 miles of range left, you can do a button combination and turn on uh, Back to the Future mode, which shows everything in gigawatts and electric cool stuff. When I get to 88 miles an hour, it really feels like I'm about to go Back to the Future. Actually, I would say this is living in the future here, especially when it drives itself and does everything for you. It drives better than I do. Well, let me just let me take that back. It does drive better than me, but I still drive really good. The seats are super comfortable. Staying here all day. You've got all kind of music choices in here. Tune in, Sirius XM, karaoke, which is fun. Uh, Spotify, streaming, phone, and you can search any music you want right there. In the car settings, there's all kind of things that you can change, especially the suspension. I like to set my suspension on low. That feels more like it's aerodynamic, but it does auto suspension up, so it learns the road and it'll raise itself in bad driving conditions. And then here, Ludicrous Plus Edition. So you can actually put it over here, it'll warm up the batteries, and then you can launch it, and it will actually pop a wheelie. It's really strong. Um, let's see, we've got regenerative braking here when you let off the accelerator it will kind of break itself, it's really cool. There's a ton of storage in the back. When you raise up the hatch in the back, uh, there are two compartments back there that you can store things in uh, because the motors are about the size of, I would say, a five gallon bucket, maybe a crock pot, about the size of a crock pot. And I, I believe this one puts out 800 to 900 horsepower and right at a thousand foot pounds of torque. If you don't have an electric vehicle, I highly recommend it. So much better. I'm saving, I was spending $2,000 a month in fuel, and now I spend probably $100 in electricity a month. Big difference, that's what affords it. So I think everybody could afford one. I think the next one I would get would be maybe a Model 3. It's very inexpensive. I wouldn't feel so bad putting the miles on that one. But this one is so much fun to drive, it's a blast. Even though there is a ton of information that you can receive here and here, I would like to see a heads up display up here in the future. If you have any questions about it, let me know.